Hello everybody, welcome to uh, my channel uh, and in today's video we will see how we can uh, uh, nicely visualize uh, our data in Likert scale. Of course, Likert scale uh, is a very common uh, tool in uh, social uh, science areas to measure agreement uh, for a given statement or the likelihood of the different uh, events and also satisfaction for provided activity or for different uh, things and also it helps us to measure uh, importance of uh, things or importance of a different uh, activities and uh, we use uh, Likert scale to measure these all things. Uh, uh, and in today's video, of course, uh, we would only uh, go further how we can visualize uh, our data uh, measured in, in Likert scale. So as usual, uh, we're going to go uh, to uh, clearing our environment, then there is package which helps us to visualize this data, Likert a package, then after we set our directory, in our directory I have already prepared data for these particular activities, activities and this data is, I would like to thank one of my colleagues who, who measured this data for uh, here, uh, actually, a research activity. Uh, so uh, I read this data to the uh, environment, and then after reading this data, we can view what is in data. For example, uh, so these are the variables. Uh, for example, we called it uh, pre-question one to pre-question uh, question uh, eleven uh, here. So we have 11 uh, questions uh, that uh, have responded as a, a agreed to to strongly uh, agree to strongly disagree actually, uh, and uh, so we can see some of the responses here, and we could see like uh, we have a uh, this much observations, uh, 363 observations. Uh, which is quite sufficient to visualize. And then uh, we're going to order this data uh, to be uh, suitable for visualization. Uh, and then we have red data, uh, M, my, D. Then we mutate this data. Mutate art is one of the function in a uh, deep layer package. Uh, you can uh, look at other videos, the previous videos, which I actually uh, discuss about uh, mutate and other functions in uh, the play package. So my variables are coded as pre-q and in pre-q, oh, I order this uh, like the uh, I mean responses one for uh, strongly. Uh, disagree and two four uh, disagree not sure is there as three and agree as four and uh, strongly agree as uh, five because it's ranged from uh, one to five in this case of course like it scale can range from uh, seven uh, five in some cases and in most of cases actually five and in other cases it could be three uh, it depends on the data and the objective that we are working for then i order this data and after we order this data also you can uh, visualize it here a uh, view uh, i mean view you can use uh, as view here, we read as Dayton here, then you put Dayton and you can run uh, back what to look what is inside. It has already converted from uh, a character from the statement to the numbers actually because we assign number for each of these 
Uh, so then uh, we're going to make this data after it's something numerical, uh, we have to make a factor. It's not really numbers because it's only shows us the order uh, from uh, one to five. They, and it ends like it starts at one and ends at five. It is not a more than this. It's not continuous number or it is not like uh, I mean, integers, rather it is like characters. We assign number for the arguments. Uh, so um, uh, I run this uh, data again. Uh, this helps me to convert uh, numerical things to factor. Then after converting this, there is a function in a Likert package, uh, say to be Likert, then we make this data uh, in the format uh, that like it can uh, be able to plot uh, in this case then uh, after doing this we can simply plot uh, plot uh, and after we plot we can see nicely here uh, like which our response range from uh, one to five and the percentage of each uh, responses here like the response of the neutral uh, is here at the center uh, like uh, how much the percentage it holds and also the other proportion of the other responses as well uh, for example in case of uh, pre q10 uh, like the uh, disagree and uh, strongly disagree possesses only 7% uh, and 11% hold by the uh, neutral responses and the rest 82% uh, respondents uh, responded that uh, they agree either or they strongly agree nearly like half of them responded as they strongly agree and the rest uh, responded as uh, they uh, agree on a given question. Uh, here we can show the question itself uh, in uh, like in long statement case, but it is uh, not nice for visualization. Therefore, I drop the questions, the big questions. Also, it is like the the questions are taken from the questionnaire of the other research. Uh, I want to disclose this uh, in this video and uh, I only would like to show you uh, how you can uh, exercise this or how you can nicely visualize uh, your Likert uh, scale particularly uh, for those who are in social uh, science areas like uh, management, uh, economics, or other social sciences, uh, how you can uh, use this uh, visualization tool as uh, part of your, your research. So this is uh, what I would like to show you in today's video. Uh, thank you very much uh, and please uh, subscribe my channel to get more uh, video through this channel.